Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I am your reader, Renetta, and we are going to tap into the energy of Divine Feminine and the Karmic, okay? So we're just going to hop right on in and see what Spirit has to say. Please keep in mind that this reading is general. The energies are fluid and the message is timeless, okay? All right. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's get this centered. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What are the leading energies of the Divine Feminine towards the Karmic in this connection? What are the leading energies of the Divine Feminine towards the Karmic in this connection? Please and thank you, my love. Thank you. Oh. We have the heart chakra. This is Archangel Raphael. Feminine, you're being led by love. It have to do with something with this karmic, either the lessons of love that you're being taught or that you're teaching. Okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What are the leading energies of the karmic towards the... We have two. Ooh, we have the garden and the gate. And then we have the angel of love. It's making me feel as though feminine, you're teaching this karmic how to love. The lessons and the levels of love. I mean, and that's isn't that what it's all about? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have door to value here. Yes. And man holding a heart. Yes. Yes. Like I said, you're teaching this karmic the levels and the lessons and love here. Okay, you both being taught. I mean, spirit is teaching you guys both about the levels and the lessons in love. Okay, all right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the challenges in this connection? What is the challenge for the feminine in this connection? What is the challenge? Thank you, codependency. And it says addictions are affecting your romantic love life. Okay, let's say again one more. Yeah. Um I'm I'm hearing drunk and love sick and oh love sick. Okay. Feminine. You being worked on. Yeah, your heart is being worked on because you, you have a oh, what is that word, spirit? What's that what's the word for that energy? You're being misguided by love with this karmic, or you have been misguided by love, or you have been misguided by the love that you have for this karmic here. Uh-huh. And you got to break free. For some of you feminines here, you could, you, you are dependent. You are emotionally dependent on this karmic here. Yeah. Yeah. You want to break free. It's like you know that you that this karmic has your heart strings. You know, it's, it's making me feel as though feminine, you feel like a puppet on the string when it comes to this karmic here. Because they, you know, they, they, they have you. They have your heart. This is why you're being taught the levels and lessons in love, both of you guys. Yeah. For some of you feminists, it's feel as though you can't live without this connection with this karmic here. Or you once felt that way here. Not anymore. Because you're learning the lessons and the levels of love. That's right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What is the challenge for the karmic in this connection, please? And thank you, my love. What is the challenge for the karmic in this connection? That's way too many. Mm-mm. No, I'm not taking that. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the challenge? Okay, thank you. We have three, okay. I'll take them. We have past life relationship is a challenge in this connection with the karmic. And it says you have known each other before. And then we have retreat, which is a 
challenge for this karmic and this connection. And then we also have heart to heart conversations, which is a challenge in this connection with the karmic here. This karmic know that they done took you through some type of emotional changes here, feminine. And it's coming up as a challenge because they're being guided by love here. And they're starting to understand the reactions of love. What? Okay, I heard you, Spirit. Thank you. The reactions of what love brings. Yeah. It's time to disconnect from the world. That's a challenge. So it's making me. Mm, parts of her coming soon. Both of you guys are being taught the lessons in love, period. I mean, I said it when it, when it came out, and that's what's still here. You guys are both being taught the levels and lessons in love, dealing with each other here. <clears throat> yes. This this karmic view you as a challenge because you're teaching them the lessons in love. Staying optimistic about your love life. See what I'm saying? That's the challenge here at the bottom of the deck, yeah. And it says positive thinking and favor bring romance will bring you romance. That's the challenge here. Yeah, because you have to change your outlook and your perspective on what love is. You're teaching each other both this here. Okay? Holy Spirit, holy angels, yeah. Yeah, for some yeah, for some of you feminists, it's like you're addicted to this karmic here, but because of your addictions, it I'm feeling sexual. It's a sexual addiction or a sensual. Sensual. They make you feel sensual. Ooh. Okay, this karmic makes you feel like a woman or makes you feel really, really sensual here. And you you've gotten used to that feminine. Yeah, you gotten used to that. And it cra and it's affecting your heart. It's affecting what you do out of your heart here. Because it's like, it's it's a remembrance of romance is what I'm hearing. This karma make you remember romance. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, hell yeah, with this angel of love here. Yeah, in the garden of gate. Yeah, this, this karma is making you feel, or making you remember what it feels like to be romanced here. And this, uh, it got you unlocked here. You, 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 it got your attention. Attention. <laughs> All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the advice for the feminine in this connection, please? What is the advice for the feminine in this connection? That's too many. Let's get one. Yeah, I just need one. What's your advice? What's your number one advice, Holy Spirit, for the feminine in this connection? What's your, what's your advice? Okay, two. All right, that'll work. Here we have communication is key. You gotta let them know how you feel. And then answers you need are coming. Yeah, y'all gotta talk about it. Or you gotta express your feelings and how you really feel about this karmic divine feminine. You know, it's making me feel as though it, there's a connection here that is, um, is, is unhealthy. There's an unhealthy connection with this karmic here. And it's because of things not being said or expressed with this connection with the karmic here, feminine. And it's making you feel stuck and codependent because you want to release these feelings and emotions towards this karmic, but you just haven't yet. Why you haven't? It's because y'all have, y'all communication is whack. Okay? Or the expression, expression of emotions is not there. On your part, feminine. Or it, okay, I heard you, spirit. It, you're not receiving the expression of emotion, so therefore you can't open up to this connection because you don't know where this karmic is coming from. You want it, but you don't have it. Yeah. You want it, but you don't have it. And at the bottom, it says nothing will come from this situation. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if you can see. Yeah, this is how you're feeling. This is what you... Mm, words left unspoken here. Yeah. This is why I stay optimistic about your love life. It's a challenge at the bottom because it's this words that was left unspoken on your part feminine here because communication is key, key here. And you have full moon and new moon in Gemini. So you could be a Gemini or this could happen in Gemini season feminine. Yeah. Oh, Gemini, that energy is so loving. It's like yay or nay here. It's like you, you, oh, damn, feminine. You, you, you want this. You want to have this connection, but you don't want to deal with this connection. 
Hmm. And I totally understand that. You want it, but you don't want to deal with it. Why? Because you ain't putting up with no bullshit. You ain't putting up with nobody's shit here. But there's a craving to be in this connection. But you're just like a hell no, fuck no. Look, I could do bad by myself, but I do want you. I do love you. I do want to be with you. But damn, hell no, fuck no. You know, and then you're having a hard time understanding that or separating your energies from that. Here. These are the lessons in love that you're learning. It's how to love yourself over others. Feminine. To be a Gemini, if you're a Gemini, I understand that because that energy is very, very, very loving. Okay, Geminis, they they are they they will go over the moon and back for love. But once you piss them off, or once you put them in a place where they don't have no more love, oh yeah. And then after that, they're still reconsidering. Why? Because that's a Gemini. They flip-flop back on your ass depending on how you make them feel. Period. This is what's happening here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the advice for the karmic in this connection? Please and thank you. What is the advice for the karmic in this connection? What is the advice for the karmic in this connection, please? No. Can you kick it out? Thank you. I'm only going to take the ones that's ripped up. And then we have a win-win outcome is forecast. And we have the full moon in Libra. And then we have emotions is running high. Beautiful. And then that's the super moon. Okay. We have Libra and Gemini. So this air all over. And this is why communication is key. It's making me feel as though there's a lack of communication here. Could be dealing with a Libra. Or one of you guys could be an air sign. Or have it heavily in your chart. But it's here. But communication is whack. Here. Unspoken emotions is here. This is why the karmic feel is a challenge to just sue things over with you. Um, have some type of um, understanding with you. Yeah, because heart to heart conversations is a challenge, and when you know, and, and, it, and this this karmic is feeling challenged to open up to you or to have this heart to heart conversation with you. And communication is key. You guys are not talking, or your conversation is whacked and fucked up. It's not there. Because you're emotional. Both of you guys are in your feelings. And both of you both of you guys are really trying to find some type of solution to the emotions that you have. Like I said, both of you guys are learning the lessons in love here. With the fourth with the Archangel um Raphael for the feminine and art and, and, and the angel of love for the for the karmic. Yeah. It's like what do we do with this? It's a it's an energy, yeah, that's the energy here. Like y'all don't know what to do with what y'all have here with each other. You know, it's like a love and hate type of energy here. You love me one day and then you hate me the next. And then it's a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, you popping off one day, feminine, this karmic is popping off the next day. You see what I'm saying? So y'all love language is whack. You guys have to discover each other's love language here. This is why communication is key. And this is why heart-to-heart -heart conversations is an issue, is a challenge. Because there is no communication. It's like y'all, you guys don't know how to express or even talk to each other. Let alone express your feelings and emotions with each other. It's like a standoff energy here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you. What is this? Look, we have the Eight of Wands. And then we have the Death Energy, Scorpio Energy. See what I'm saying? No communication. Somebody want to come in and communicate or have some type of positive movement forward with you and it got shut down. Like, no. I changed. I done let this go. It's over. This is making me feel like you, feminine. But you need to talk it out with this karmic here because it's like a sackle that you left but didn't wrap up. You know, it's like open-ended here still. 
unfinished business is here. What's this? Two of Wands. You see what I'm saying? Moving forward. The death energy and the two of wands. This is moving forward without really closing out a cycle here. You just closed out the emotion here. Okay, you changed your feelings here. And it decided to move forward in a different direction. Let go of the burdens of this connection here because you have the eight of wands and the two of wands. That's the ten of wands here. Letting go of burdens here, especially with this big ass death energy in the middle of you. See what I'm saying? But it's like it's, it's it got left wrong. Y'all just stopped talking to each other. That's it. What no goodbyes. What no reasons why you don't want to fuck with them no more. It was just a break. Nothing was said. And it is the energy of just loose ends here. This is why both of you guys are being taught the lessons and the levels of love because both of you guys have loose, loose ends dealing with each other. Because this wasn't a cycle that was, this wasn't a connection that was cycled out. It was just broken. Okay, all right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What other message do you have, please? No. Thank you. All right, thank you. Here we have the strength energy, which is Leo energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles energy, Earth energy. And then we have the world energy here. Yeah, yeah. It'll, it'll come to an end. I mean, because you have the death in the world here. So this will cycle it out. But this is after y'all not talking. So it's, it's making me feel as though time will pass to where the it'll eventually cycle out because you guys are not talking. You guys are not uh, uh, interacting with each other. It's like a break. You know, you go your way, I go my way. But it left uh, unfinished business energy here. But as time goes on, it'll fizzle out. It'll fizzle out. Yeah. There is no communication and moving forward here because this cycle has closed here. Okay? There is no, no, there's nothing to talk about. This is why communication is key as your advice feminine, but it's like, why? Because to, codependency is an issue here. So it's like, you know, that need to want to talk about it, it's not, it's not happening. You know, or it's something that is not um, desired. It's, it, it, it's like an energy of, okay, if it happened, it, it happened. If it don't, it don't. You know, okay, sarah, sarah, whatever it will be, will be type energy here. You see what I'm saying? I was trying to adjust my lighting because I got the outside light on. So, but, you know, me, me and lighting, you know, <laughs> My house is so, it's, it's like, I have two windows, and I, I said I would never get another house like this again for my next house. You know, uh, it, it's, I, I'm in an apartment, and it's a shotgun apartment, so you have the window in the front that you see, and then you have the one in the back. I'm an earth sign. I, I need all my light, okay? I, me and my plants, okay? My baby, too. We need all the light we can get, but it's just not happening in this apartment here. Mm-mm. It's fixed energy here. Very stubborn energy here. Yeah, somebody is blocking communication. That's why communication is, is key for you, feminine. But you're blocking it. And you don't want it. It's like, you I don't, you don't want to talk about it. You don't been through it. You don't got over it. You heal from it. But Archangel Raphael here, you know. It's like, hey, I'm, I'm, I don't have, there's nothing that I need from communicating with this one anymore. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you. Here we have the Four of Wands. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Some type of challenge. Oh, this person is coming back around. Yep. That world energy, that travel energy with the Eight of Wands energy. Yep. 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 This is... Oh, Lazarus has arisen. This... You... This karmic is a Lazarus. 
they pulling a Lazarus on you, feminine. Okay? You don't want it. You don't, you ain't even thought about it. But here they come. It's going to come out the clear blue. It's going to be like, what? Who? What? Why? Oh. <laughs> Hey, you are like so, this is somebody that you ain't thought about in, in months, if not years, depending on your, you know, you and your lifestyle, depending on how many you got. Okay. I can't tell you which one I mean, but this karmic here is going to come back around and communicate with you because they want to start up something new with you. You ain't talked to this one in a while. I heard you was love drunk on this karmic here until you healed yourself. And then now that months and if not even years done passed by and you're healing from this person to where you don't even think about them and damn near forgot about them and here they ass come again. Here they come again, honey. Show it up. It's gonna trigger you. It, 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 for some of you guys, I'm not saying all of you, babies, please believe. I'm not saying all of you, but the ones that this resonate with, if you have not healed from this karmic here, when they come around, when they come back around, you, you, you could get triggered. Why? Because you have right here. Right here, baby. Codependency is your challenge. Okay. That's for you, feminine. Okay, so you know you you <laughs> you could remember what it was like to be with this comic here. Remember all the love, passion that you have. Okay, look, okay. They say love juices. So if that resonates with you, that's what you got. Hey, there you go. But all the passion that was had in this connection here is going to trigger you and remind you of this. But then you're going to realize and understand why you were so triggered. Is so um, bothered by this karma coming back around into your energies. Why? Because it was some type of cycle that was not closed in the past. So it's going to bring up those energies here because you got to deal with it now. Okay. Yeah. So, you know. For some of my babies, you might have to have another conversation with this karmic here. It doesn't necessarily have to go back into the romantic cycle here, but the conversation of what had happened or why it had happened or something of the sort, it might be coming back around to you and you might be triggered by this opportunity to have this conversation or even by the conversation itself depending on if this is something that you want to engage yourself in again, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else can you tell me? What else can you tell me about this connection, please? Can you kick it? No. Can you kick it out, though? Please and thank you. Oh, it almost came out. I seen it. Thank you. The Nine of Pentacles energy. I like this energy. You have the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles side by side here. Okay. So, so they on the move. There's a solid offer that's on the move towards you, feminine. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, this is a solid offer that's coming back into you right now. Here. Okay. It could be some type of challenging communication to you. This is a challenge for you. This communication is a challenge for you. I told you it might be a trigger. I told you it might be a trigger, and this is what it's feeling like. Okay? This person coming back around to talk and communicate with you and clear the air with you is a trigger. But you got the you got the strength energy here. And the death energy. And the world energy. See what I'm saying? So, you know, it could be a trigger. But, baby, you learn from these lessons that you have learned in love. Hold on. Mm, dropping cars and stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, you learn. You learn very well. Because it's a trigger. 
Yeah, you learn you learn very well about the lessons in this love here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can have multiple people from your past coming back towards you, babe. I'm going to let you know that right now. You might have multiple people coming back around towards you, babe, because you have two nights out here with the real energy. That's travel. That's movement here. Okay, one is slow as shit, and the other one come rushing back in to talk about it. Yeah. You're not really caring. With this Nine of Pentacles energy here, you're really comfortable. and You're, you're not really um, bothered by these energies that's coming back around to you because you have healed. Okay? With the, yeah, Archangel Samuel, uh, Raphael, excuse me, Samuel. I didn't, well, hey, Samuel here too, too then, because I didn't call him out for nothing. But Archangel Raphael here, yeah, you're being guided by love and you're being guided by the healings of your heart through love. Okay? What else can you tell me, Spirit? What else can you think? That way, way over there. Damn. I'll take it. Oh, no. They said put it back. Alright. I'll put it back. They said put it back. It was a tower in reverse, but when they said put it back, hey, I gotta do it. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let's keep it on the table. What else can you tell me? But we'll make note of the tower being reversed. So that's somebody that really don't want to have. Look it. <laughs> I know. I see that. Look, like, you put it on my arm and tried to stay. But okay, I'll get it. I'll take it. They said, take this one. <laughs> I know. I flipped it off. I flipped it off. Okay, here we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse here. Ooh. Like I'm saying, loss of passion here. You have two, you have three nights in a row. Um, and then have a high priestess energy here. So, like I said, you have multiple people coming in around you, baby. That's what this is. <laughs> Dog barks don't lie. The confirmation of what I just said. You have multiple people coming back around to you, feminine here. It's not just this one karmic here. Okay? These are multiple people that either you closed it out with or you just left alone. And now they're coming back around because they want to see what else is up. Okay, because it's been enough time to pass. And then all of a sudden, here they ass is. Yeah. You feel like home. They remember home or something about home. It could be somebody from your hometown. High priestess here. The Queen of Wands. Ooh. I like that energy with the high priestess there. Yeah. It's not going to bother you. It's, it's, it's the energy of like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see people from my past just pop up in my life here. You know, running into this one. Um, somebody bringing up that one. You know what I mean? Something of the sort. It's just like an energy of just being reminded of the people that you once dealt with here. But it's, it's not an energy of, oh, I'm coming back around. No. Because you learned the lessons. And the reason why these karmas are coming back around to you, feminines, is because they're learning the lessons too. After you done learned and healed from multiple karmics here, your light is shining, it's bright, it's heavy, it's, it's illuminating. Okay, moths to a flame, baby. This is what's happening. And it's multiple. It's not just one. It's multiple karmics coming back around to see what's up. Hmm. And you know it's cuffing season two, right? So, hmm. Huh. She. Huh. <laughs> it's cold outside. So, huh. She. <laughs> That's what this is, baby. This ain't just no one Pacific karma. This is multiple karmas coming back to you. Why? Because they realize the love that you have for you. And, and, and what you poured out on them, now they miss it. Now they want it. Now they want to come back around it. And they see you. They see how much you have it going on, feminine. You have the door to value here, baby. You are very valuable. Oh, and the man holding a heart up under that. Oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? 
These are multiple karmics coming back around to you that you ain't even fuck with in a minute. Ain't even talk to in a minute. The ones that you just left and the ones that you been left is coming back around to you, especially in this cuffing season, Divine Feminine. Okay? So, stay on your throne. Adjust your crown. And let them know because you you a ghoster. You a ghoster. A lot of you feminines are ghosters. Y'all just need motherfuckers hanging. Like, I ain't heard from her in a couple of weeks and you're not going to hear from me for a couple of years. They coming back around. So, <laughs> be prepared, baby. Because here they are. And they're coming back for your abundance and your goodness. Why? Because you are a divine feminine, okay? All right. This is what I have for you in the karmic, okay? So, till next time, take care. Bye.